Tasting Oklahoma. I'm Amanda Simcoe, the Cheese Wench. We're back in the beautiful Galley Sink Test Kitchen. Our audience has just enjoyed their first course, and now we're going to head back in and start on the second. How was the first course, guys? <laughs> All right, well, they haven't left yet, so let's, let's uh, go with some salad. So, like I said, this is not the healthiest menu ever, but we had, so we, we had some cream sauce with the first course. We're going to have some cream sauce with the third course, so we're going to lighten things up a little bit, have a little salad with some citrus in it, and yes, there will still be some cheese because wench. So just for fun, I brought some different citrus fruits and thought, you know, I'd put them in, in a salad. And But before we do that, I thought I would see who knows there's citrus out there. Anybody know what this is? It's cocktail grapefruit. Anybody know what this is? Thank you. I tricked you. I gave you the, the you know, the tricky one first. Yes, uh, this is going to be sweeter, by the way, than this kid. So... You know what this is, right? Do you know what this is? <laughs> They're both oranges. This is what you, your, your regular Valencia. This is actually a Spanish orange. This is a sour orange. All right, this is a blood orange. Nice, beautiful red skin. Cut it open. Looks like this inside. Really pretty. Kind of got a little bit of a, you know, almost kind of a little floral note to it. I really like it. Anybody know what this is? If a kumquat and a something else got frisky on Valentine's Day, Why? it's a mandarin quat. Uh. <laughs> so now that I'm done being a, <laughs> and now, now that I'm done being ornery, um, I might feed you guys. So, all right, we're going to talk salad though. Okay, does everybody know what this is at least? Yeah. All right, does everybody know what it kind of tastes like? Licorice. All right, who hates licorice? I love like the natural things that taste like licorice, like ouzo, no. <laughs> like, 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 but, you know, Sambuca. No, I'm kidding. But I don't like licorice candy because to me, the problem I have with licorice is it's too sweet. You've, I don't think that this kind of natural licorice flavor marries very well with a whole lot of sweetness. So instead, I'm going to take this licorice flavored vegetable and I guess we'd call this the fronds, maybe the herb, but, and, and, basically pair it with something a little bit more refreshing, a little bit more acidic. So basically over here, we're starting with a kale mix. All right, so <clears throat> for this, you could peel your orange and you could, you know, put it into segments if you really wanted to be lazy, or you could go through, peel it, and then segment it out and cut in between all of the little bits of the pith and all, you know, just get really fussy about it. And then just cut it into slices. If you've got a whole bunch of pithiness in the middle, you can actually just pop it right out. This bit's kind of bitter. You can leave it in really pretty rings. You can cut them in half, into half little pretty circles. Either way you go, it's delicious. Okay, the fennel. <clears throat> the fronds actually have some really nice delicate flavor, so I kind of take these and pick them apart. And really, you can just kind of strip them. And we'll put a little of this in the salad with it, give it a little bit more flavor. But this, we've basically just sliced thin and made pretty little slices. Yes, you can use your knife and cut it up. Easy, quick, looks nice on a plate salad. And we're going to toss our kale and Swiss chard and spinach mixture, put some fennel on it, put some orange on it, and mix it with a little bit of a vanilla citrus vinaigrette, which Jill's going to talk to you about here in just a minute. And then we're going to add a little bit of vanilla scented ricotta. There you go. I've just mixed a little bit of vanilla bean paste in here. Again, not the fake stuff. No wood chips, please. So we're going to make a vinaigrette. So who can tell me maybe what one major ingredient in our vinaigrette might be? Vinegar. There we go. So for this, you can use any vinegar you want when you're making salad dressing. For this, we're going to use white balsamic because if we use regular balsamic, it's going to make our citrus dressing kind of dark, and we don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and juice some of these. Now, if you, you can use a reamer. If you, have you guys seen a reamer? Okay, it looks like this, except it's smaller and has a handle. Anyway, if you don't have a reamer, you can use a handy-dandy regular fork. And I hope I don't make a mess here and have juice going everywhere. Anyway, we just want to get this all nice and juiced. Okay, so then we're just going to put in a little bit of our white balsamic. And next, one of the things that keeps our 
dressing for, from separating is good old Dijon. And of course, since this is a vanilla show, we have to have vanilla. Okay, so then you're gonna put in your olive oil. Just stream it in, something else that will keep it from um, separating on you. So we'll go ahead and get your all salads made and we'll enjoy the next course. How was the salad course? All right, excellent. All right, so next up, we're gonna go carnivorous again. And most people know that I don't eat a lot of chicken because, well, 